Welcome to your starter kit for Lanhala Glycopyrrolate Inhalation Solution for use with the Magnair Nebulizer System. Before taking your medicine, please take the time to watch this instructional video. This chapter will review the parts of the starter kit. Pause this video at any time by tapping on the chapter's pause play button or jump to a specific chapter by pressing the buttons below. Instructions on how to recharge this instructional video can be found at the end of this video. Magnair should only be used with Lanhala. Do not use any other medicines in your Magnair. Do not use Lanhala with any other device. Your starter kit contains this instructional video, the Magnair nebulizer system, and a 60-dose supply of Lanhala. Before using your Magnair nebulizer system, please also read and understand the manufacturer's instructions for use, included in the Magnair box. There is also a Lanhala Magnair Quick Reference Guide included in the Magnair box. After watching this video, you can always watch again or refer to your Lanhala Magnair Quick Reference Guide for step-by-step -step summary instructions. The instructional video and Quick Reference Guide are only supplied in your starter kit, so please make sure not to throw away either piece. The Magnair Nebulizer System does not come pre-assembled. All components must be removed from packaging prior to setup. It's important that you know how to assemble your Magnair so that your medicine is delivered correctly. Magnair includes the handset body, medication cap, mouthpiece, aerosol head, controller, connection cord, AC adapter, four AA batteries, and carrying bag. The Lanhala supply box contains 30 foil pouches of Lanhala. Each foil pouch contains two single-use vials, for a total of 60 Lanhala vials. The Lanhala supply box also contains the Lanhala Magnair prescribing information, including a patient information section. Open the Magnair Nebulizer System box and check to make sure you have all the Magnair parts. If any part is missing, or you have any questions, call the Synovian Customer Service Line. Please remember that you will need a refill kit after every 60 doses. Your refill kit contains a supply of Lanhala and a Magnair replacement handset. The Magnair replacement handset includes only these replacement parts. Handset body, medication cap, mouthpiece, aerosol head, and manufacturer's instructions for use booklet. Throw away your old handset parts and use the new handset parts every time you get a Lanhala Magnair refill kit. This chapter will review how to assemble and use Lanhala Magnair. Before using your Magnair nebulizer system, please also read and understand the manufacturer's instructions for use included in the Magnair box. Before you use Lanhala Magnair for the first time, it is important to clean all the handset parts. Skip ahead to chapter three of this video to review cleaning if you have never used your Lanhala Magnair. Let's get started by assembling your Magnair. Magnair can be used with AA batteries or with the AC adapter. To insert the four AA batteries, open the black battery door on the controller to insert the batteries by placing your thumb on the black tab of the battery door and firmly pushing the tab. Using the battery tips as guides and starting left to right, insert the four AA batteries, tip out, tip in, tip out, tip in. To close the battery door, push it closed until you hear it click into place. If you choose to power your controller with batteries, make sure you have an extra set of batteries with you at all times. If you choose to power your Magnair with the AC adapter, you plug one end of the AC adapter into the inlet on the black battery door of the controller and the other end into a wall outlet. Next, make sure your hands are clean before assembling your Magnair. Open the top of the handset body by lifting the clasp and flipping it open. Insert the aerosol head into the handset body. 
hold the aerosol head like a small frying pan so the silver text side is facing up and the brown ring is facing down. Do not touch the center of the aerosol head. Align the small tab on the aerosol head with the matching notch in the handset body. Close the handset body, making sure the aerosol head is properly inserted and the tab is aligned with the notch and level with the handset body. You may hear a click. If you do not close your handset body completely or align the aerosol head correctly, your medication could leak and you will not get your full treatment. Be sure the blue valve is in place by pressing it down into the slot on the mouthpiece. Attach the mouthpiece to the handset body with the blue valve on top. Now connect the controller to the handset body using the connection cord. The blue round end of the connection cord goes into the blue side of the controller. You will hear a slight click when it is fully inserted. Do not insert into the AC adapter inlet on the black battery compartment. Insert the gray end of the connection cord into the handset body. The gray mark on the connection cord should face up and line up with the blue mark on the handset body. Now you're ready to add your Lanhala vial. Take out a foil pouch from the Lanhala box. Open the foil pouch enough to remove the two Lanhala vials. Separate the two vials by twisting them apart and return one to the opened foil pouch to save for your next treatment. You can store the remaining vial in the opened foil pouch in the carrying bag. Discard the vial if not used within seven days. Insert one Lanhala vial, flat tab end first, into the bottom of the medication cap. Press the vial in until you hear a click. Make sure the aerosol head is installed before attaching the medication cap because your medicine could leak and you will not get your full treatment. Prepare to attach the medication cap. Do not touch the part of the handset body that pierces the vial. Place the medication cap with the Lanhala vial on top of the handset body. Then turn the medication cap in a clockwise direction. As you turn the medication cap, the Lanhala vial will open and you may hear a click. The notch, which is at the base of the opening in the medication cap, should line up with the blue line on the handset body. Do not remove the medication cap or unclasp the handset body until the treatment is complete because your medicine could leak and you will not get your full treatment. Now you're ready to use the Magnair Nebulizer system. Sit in an upright and relaxed position. Hold the handset and place the mouthpiece in your mouth, sealing your lips around it. Be careful not to tilt the handset because your medicine could leak and you will not get your full treatment. Also, do not cover the blue valve with your lips. Turn on the controller by pressing the on-off button. The green LED light will turn on and you will hear a single beep that indicates your Magnair is functioning properly. Breathe in and out normally through the mouthpiece. Do not breathe through your nose and do not cover the blue valve with your lips. The blue valve should lift to let some mist escape when you breathe out. Continue breathing through the mouthpiece. Your treatment should take about two to three minutes. When your treatment is finished, the controller will automatically shut off. You will hear two beeps and the green LED light will turn off. If the treatment is taking longer than three minutes, continue with your treatment until the controller shuts off to ensure that you get your full treatment. If you need to pause your treatment, press the on-off button to pause your treatment and then press the on-off button again to continue your treatment. Remember not to tilt your handset if you pause treatment because your medicine could leak and you will not get your full treatment. Make sure to clean your handset at the end of each treatment, as reviewed in Chapter 3 of this video. This chapter reviews how to clean the handset. Clean the handset before you use it for the first time and after each use. If you do not clean the handset after every use, your treatment time could take more than three minutes. To clean the handset, disconnect it from the connection cord and turn the medication cap in a counterclockwise direction 
to remove from the handset body. If you have just taken a dose of Lanhala, you'll need to remove the vial by placing the top of the medication cap in the palm of your hand and pushing up. Throw the empty vial in the wastebasket. Then remove the mouthpiece from the handset body by giving it a gentle twist and pull to separate it from the handset body. Carefully loosen the blue valve from the slot in the mouthpiece. Make sure the valve is still attached on one side. Open the handset body by lifting the clasp on the side of the handset body. Then remove the aerosol head by lifting the handle. Do not touch the center of the aerosol head. Set aside the aerosol head to be cleaned separately. Do not wash the connection cord, controller, and AC adapter. Rinse all handset parts with warm running water for about 10 seconds. Add a few drops of clear liquid dishwashing soap into a bowl of clean, warm tap water to wash all the handset parts. Swish the handset parts around in the soapy water for about 10 seconds to clean. Do not scrub the handset parts with a brush as this may damage the parts. Rinse the handset parts well under warm running water for approximately 10 seconds. Clean the aerosol head like you cleaned the disassembled handset parts. Rinse each side of the aerosol head well with warm running water for about 10 seconds on each side. Wash the aerosol head by holding the handle and swishing it back and forth in the soapy water for about 10 seconds. Rinse both sides of the aerosol head well with warm running water for about 10 seconds on each side. Rinsing the aerosol head well helps prevent clogging and ensure proper operation. Do not add dishwashing soap directly onto the aerosol head. Add to water only. Do not use a brush to clean the aerosol head because it may damage it. Inspect all handset parts to make sure they are completely clean. If any handset parts are still dirty, soak them for five more minutes in warm soapy water. Then rinse well with warm running water until all the parts are clean. Do not clean your handset parts with alcohol or put in the dishwasher, as this will damage the parts. Remove excess water by shaking all the handset parts. Place them on a dry, clean, lint-free towel and allow them to air dry. Do not dry the handset parts with a paper towel or touch the center of the aerosol head. After the handset parts are completely dry, store all parts in a dry, dust-free environment like the carrying bag provided in your starter kit. Do not put the handset parts back together until ready to use again for your next dose of Lanhala. Thank you for taking the time to watch this instructional video. You can always watch again or use the quick reference guide available in the Magnair box. In addition, be sure to read and follow the full manufacturer's instructions for use, also included in the Magnair box. To recharge this instructional video, open the compartment on the back and retrieve the USB cord inside. Plug one end of the USB cord into a USB port on your computer or USB wall charger, and the other end into the top of the instructional video. Keep in mind it may take up to 45 minutes to fully recharge the instructional video. You can track charging progress on the video screen while it is plugged in. When charging is complete, store USB cord in the compartment on the back of the instructional video. If you have questions or need help with your Lanhala Magnair, please visit lanhalamagnair.com or call the Synovian Customer Service Line.